the 135 pound championship. Introducing your combatants first, fighting out of the rent to own red corner. Please welcome the reigning, defending NFC 135 pound champion, Chris McKinney. NFC along with a few other promotions. Rob Hanna. But we were unable to get that fight here in the NFC. So Rocky the number Edwards will be fighting Rob Hanna in Bellator 78 next Friday night in Dayton, Ohio. So be sure to check out MTV2 to see a couple of local Ohio guys and probably two of the best lightweights in Ohio fighting it out on MTV2 and Spike.com for Absol the undercard. Absolutely, Chris, and it goes to show that the, the great talent that we're providing for you folks here in the, the NFC, wow, you know, it, it, it just doesn't get any more exciting than that. We're Making this step to the, the big, big show. Making it happen for you folks, our loyal fans, we'd like to thank you for watching. Everybody that's with us at www.nfcfights.com, thank you so much for tuning in to this, our eighth event, Chris. This is Caged on Campus 4, the newly minted National Fighting Circuit. Boy, that's just got a good ring to it. I like that. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're coming up on our first title fight of the evening for our 135 pound title, our bantamweight title fight. Chris, Chris McKinney, sorry about that. Chris McKinney, 4-0, man. He's going to bring it. And I know there's a fighter out there who couldn't make it down tonight to watch the fights, but uh, just saw a Facebook and a tweet by him. He is currently watching the fights live on NFCFights.com. Alfred Leisure, we'd like to say thanks to watching the fights. I know he's keeping an eye on this fight and our 145-pound uh, title fight. Alfred's been uh, testing the waters at 135. Another very tough opponent from Columbus, Ohio, which who we'd love to have down here for the NFC. Great fighter, great, great stand-up. And uh, saw him at the gym training the other night. His ground game is getting phenomenal. So he is ever improving. You know, he's coming off a big win um, down in Cincinnati. Right off the on. state championship. The Queen City of Cincinnati. Champ versus challenger here is Chris McKinney, our 135 champ, looks to strap it up against Zach Carpenter, who's four and two. Carpenter. As you hear the support for Zach Carpenter as he makes his way to the cage. Chris McKinney fighting out of West Virginia MMA and Zach Carpenter representing Team G-Force out of Cincinnati. As we're set to call you, call your action here tonight. And here he comes. Wait for his music to start. A little technical de delay. There we go. Team G Force, as they are in the house. We have our very own feud, Chris, between two camps. Let me tell you about it. Team G-Force. And can you guess Team Chaos? Really? <laughs> Imagine that, right? Not surprised and with the latter of the two. <laughs> we're going to get to see two of their prime combatants square off again tonight as Kid Chaos, Zach Cook, looks to take on our 145 pound champ as he's actually coming down to try to take Charles Stanford's title with Team G-Force. And you can bet the roof is gonna come off of this place when that fight comes down. And that's just gonna be here in a little bit as it's our main event. I've been following uh, Kid Chaos you know, on the internet and he's been talking, he's been training hard. You know, He's been putting in two and three days for this this fight, getting down the weight, training hard, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., he's been out there running, you know, flipping the tire, getting ready for this this fight. And the one thing I like about Zach Cook, you watch him, 
is he's progressed as a fighter. We've got to we we've had the privilege of watching him early develop on early on in the NFC, and he's just gotten progressively better. You know, the the kid's got got a heart that won't quit, and uh, you know some would say a mouth to match, but I, <laughs> but I tell you what. It's part of his persona, you know. And, and, and when he comes, chaos follows. Of the evening is scheduled for three, three-minute rounds, and on the line, the NFC 135-pound championship. Your referee in charge of the action is Mark Matheny. Introducing your combatants first. Fighting out of the rent to own a red corner. He is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu artist standing five feet, six inches tall and weighing in at 135 pounds. In four MMA bouts, he has a perfect record of four and oh. Representing a West of Virginia MMA, he hails from Beckley, West Virginia. Please welcome the, the reigning, defending NFC 135 pound champion, Chris Taz McKinney. His opponent across the cage to my right, the challenger fighting out of the McFadden Insurance Blue Corner. He is a freestyle fighter standing five feet nine inches tall and weighing in at 135 pounds. In six bouts, he has an MMA record of four wins against only two defeats. Representing Team G Force, he hails from the Queen City of Cincinnati, Ohio. Please welcome Zach, the Mama's Boy. Carpenter! <laughs> Referee Mark Matheny with your championship instructions. Okay, listen up, guys. You know the rules. We went over them earlier. I expect you to fight according to those. This is for a championship belt. You guys are going to hook them up? Do so now? Evidently not. Good luck. Way. I'm gonna call it how I see it. Love it, I love it. What a great time to be here in the NFC. As you're joining us live, all those watching, we'd like to thank you, nfcfights.com. We're getting ready to touch them up here. Zach Carpenter with the blue tape. Comes across with his hands out, for his hands McKinney down. Red. Carpenter now taking some shots against McKinney. McKinney opens up at the, oh, oh and he slips. Crazy kick, and but he's, he's fine. The fans got a little bit excited, but he slipped on that. And Carpenter going to town. He's gonna get caught in that arm bar, it looks like. He, oh, he was able to pull it out. He needs to get that arm back. There he goes, now he's now he's able to stack McKinney. Got and a little that leg. Looking for that, take that back. McKinney's able to get back Mc, up. McKinney grabbed, very wisely grabbed a hold of that right leg. Did you see him hook that yep. right leg and pull himself back up? Beautiful technique being executed there and by Chris uh, McKinney. Referee calls timeout. Apparently, Zach's mouthpiece came out. And that was a big slip. You're absolutely right, Chris. He came out, and they were just exchanging, and he slipped. Yeah. And I'm telling you what, Carpenter took advantage of it. Yeah, McKinney's kind of doing some dancing. And oh, and look at, and he's looking to fire off again. As, as he's got McKinney backing up now, looking for an angle. The champ's face is kind of red. Carpenter's looking relaxed. Wow, well you see that footwork being exhibited by Ken McKinney, not really doing much. And uh, Carpenter's landed some punches. Oh, what an exchange there. there blood coming out of nice knee attempt. McKinney's mouth. As McKinney now looks to get that clinch. <clears throat> Excuse me. As he looks to get that clinch there, there's that knee. He's got the under, controlling the wrist. Drops down to pick the leg. Zach's doing a good job defending the takedown. He is. Got, got the uh, right arm of McKinney. He's got that over. Chris is looking, working for the single leg to get the takedown. As he looks for takedown. Backs off the cage with a nice punch. Tees like off. To see. Another left there by McKinney. Good head left. movement. Oh, nice right hand there by Carpenter. Or left hand, rather. Excuse me. Right, left hand. A little showboating going on by Chris, but I'm telling you, it's not the thing to do with an aggressive... Focused if you opponent. Zach's coming in Zach. with good punches. 
And if you watch, look at how Zach Carpenter hangs his right hand. You think mm -hmm. It's just a matter of time before he loads up on it. You know he wants to throw it. Mm -hmm. Is McKinney going to give him the angle to throw it? And we'll see here. Now he's dropping the left hand. Good head movement by Zach. Just missed the punches. Nice check to that kick. And those are going to hurt if you don't check them. Big left hook from their champ, Chris. I think Zach Carpenter needs to cut some angles as he eats some punches now and Drops holds down onto a leg. leg. And he's not going to get much. He, I would let go of this if I was Carpenter because he doesn't yeah, have it. He needs to pull out quickly. And it's a beautiful back. Good wrestling. Transition. Yep. Good wrestling transition We're close there on by McKinney. time here. There's a little stoppage for the mouthpiece, so we may. Beautiful switch by McKinney as he looks to take advantage and take the back. There's our 10 second warning. The champ has got both hooks in. Lance. Oh, there it is. He's got that choke in now. He's got him flattened he's out. Got a few seconds. This could be academic. Oh, oh saved, saved by the bell. Oh, my goodness. Didn't look like he wanted to let go of that choke either. The referee had to forcefully stop it. Oh, my goodness. Saved by the bell, not just another cheesy 80s show here at NFC. Let me tell you what, what an action packed round. And uh, the challenger showing a little bit of fatigue in that I'm, last, yep. in, this, in this corner over here. I'm telling you, I, you know what? That was a great effort by, uh, by Carpenter, by Zach Carpenter, able to take advantage of that slip in the first round by McKinney. It's definitely going to be a hard round score as a judge. Uh, you know, and I'm telling you, if I'm Carpenter's corner, I'm saying, listen, you've got to cut the angle. You've got to move around. You're moving around. You're, you're loading up on that. You want to load up on that right hand. Set move, it up. Switch it up. Set it His up. His hands are down. Kick. Set it up. Absolutely. You know, and if you're McKinney's corner, then you're saying, hey, that aggression came along right at the right time. That's what we need to do. Move yep. forward. Move forward. I would forward. just make sure, I, you know, as a coach, you know, I – you can't control your fires from in there, but I hate cockiness like that. You know, his yeah. hands are down, and when you, like I said, you got to focus that carpenter who's throwing, he's loading that right hand up. Absolutely. And if he times you with your hands down like that, you're going to go to sleep. Out. Absolutely. Even you're at 135 right. pounds, these guys do pack power. Absolutely. You know, the mouth of the it, champ, Chris, is, you know, all bloodied up. He's eaten a few shots tonight. He has had the variable buffet of fists there. But coming out of this round, he's showing a little bit less fatigue than the challenger. And here we go. Referee Mark Matheny in charge of the action. Getting ready to touch him up again for round two of an exciting fight in this 135-pound weight class. This is a champion, amateur championship fight between Chris McKinney and Zach Carpenter. Wow. McKinney in, in the red. McKinney with the white trunks, Carpenter with the black and red. As McKinney Good now footwork. In. Oh, nice combination. So that, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. Moving, moving his angles. forward. Yep. And that's and again, there we go. We see Carpenter moving the angles. You got to cut the angles. Set McKinney's dancing around. Nice fresh legs. Hands down again, they, though. You, you got to wonder if he's going to made to pay for that. Nice take down by the champ. Right in the side mount. Ducked under, got to control the back. He's got the knee on the belly, working the slide across into Absol the mount. Absolutely, he's got that knee ride working. As you see. Oh, nice reversal from beautiful reversal. Zach. Right into an arm bar attempt here. Oh, Locked now in the triangle. As he's got that rubber guard going, he's bringing it up the into triangle, a body lock. Hammer fist. There it is. There's a lot of time left in this round. If he can stretch it out and got get the arm across. Getting a hold of the leg. And here we go, as if he can stretch out Carpenter. He's tapping. That's it. Just and your like, champ, just like undefeated, that. five and oh. And we talked about it, transition, transition, transition. And what a what a beautiful set of transition skills there exhibited. There's a reason why he's the champion. He is five and zero oh now. And he's got that. He's got that drive. If you watch McKinney, he's got that hunger. Like you saw that switch when Carpenter was went down. He was on it like a shark. I mean, that was a beautiful transition, very quick. That's what you like to see, um, and that's that's what distinguishes a, a good fighter from a great fighter. And, and both of these guys coming up in the ranks with McKinney improving his stock here tonight. Like you said, Chris, as he goes to five and zero, oh, very decisively. We, we were a little worried there in that first round when he slipped. 
Yeah. Carpenter did a beautiful job of getting on him. Yeah, he and capitalized you know, greatly. Absolutely, it was a tremendous effort by Carpenter, but he just couldn't bring it home. But, you know, my hat's off to the kid. He really, really took it to McKinney, but McKinney was able to settle down a little bit. He was able to relax and come back and and do what Chris McKinney does. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, Zach did a great job of getting out of that, you know, the, from that takedown. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. A one minute, five seconds of round number two. Your winner by tap out due to a triangle choke and still undefeated and still the NFC 135 pound champion, Chris Taz McKinney. All right, champ, congratulations. Great victory, tough opponent. This guy came to fight. You came to keep your belt, stay undefeated. Came all the way from Beckley, West Virginia to do what you did tonight here at Hockey College. Talk to us about your performance. Um, I don't have anything to say about performance. I train hard. This is what I do. I come to fight, I come to win. I want to thank Brian Addison, my best friend, a jiu-jitsu instructor, West Virginia MMA, Mary McAuliffe. Everybody at Beckley, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, give another round of applause for your 135-pound champion, Chris Taz McKinney.